Uh, this time not Krakow but Warsaw and you always expecting dynamic look at this that is the Orbis uh, bus mm, the marker does just brand the, the Skoda <laughs> interesting and in one moment you see the place that I an announce you like a palace of, of culture like a Eiffel Tower and the old buses of the <laughs> former, former com company Orbis but they're still working there. But look at this, the same company, they built the best hotel in Warsaw just in 1974. There was the second highest building in Warsaw, a hotel forum, uh, then changed them to a new hotel called the Giletka, like a Gillet that's a so sharp. Look at this, is the temperature about the uh, plus 25 degrees Celsius, very hot. It looked like a thunderstorm. That is not Buenos Aires, but the such obelisk uh, in front of Palace of Culture. Marriott Hotel, always presidents of states uh, staying there, always bodyguards, snipers on the, on the roof, a uh, place, I think, for the helicopters. And uh, look at this, the Palace of Culture, that on the way, I tell you a few words, uh, just prepare for the... Uh, proper walk uh, because we see the interesting corners we're getting into jungle of skyscrapers also and then direction north uh, and now is the building there the museum of contemporary art uh, in warsaw as uh, just the such uh, uh, part that part like mdm uh, that is the time from uh, <laughs> the, just developing warsaw uh, after a uh, big uh, war uh, destroying and uh, have a look uh, that's just a few words about the palace of uh, culture uh, does it just i even jump the camera that you get the better view oh look at this oh that's it for one moment okay 237 meters now is the second uh, highest building uh, in warsaw uh, we've got the just, uh, just on the left, the highest building, 310 meters, Warsaw Tower. And uh, that uh, Palace of Culture is the, on the, uh, just the second position. Uh, but they built in 1955, uh, just after the death of Stalin, and uh, finished uh, the Lev Rudnev, the Russian architect. And uh, that's just over 5,000 Russians work there and 4,000 Polish workers. Mm, that's even 16 people passed away during the building of uh, Palace of Culture. Uh, then uh, that was the brick was important from uh, Ural Mountains uh, uh, in Russia. That's uh, just uh, such long time and uh, long, long distance. And there's the special plaster in the such uh, form of ceramic uh, cinder, as you see. And of course, the massive. Uh, monuments in front of the palace. Uh, the, after the opening of palace, that was the series of uh, suicides. But there just always is the such snooping tour. That's why I want to show you something special uh, just in the grass. Uh, many years I looking for the such place. There are our buses that we started, the buses of uh, company Orbis. And uh, have a look. Always in the such tour, this is the kind of the freestyle tour, of course, is the not so special prepared uh, matters, just a live stream walk, everything could happen. The people are just surprised that suddenly I just I do the live stream because uh, I'm sitting here on the bench prepare the tour. And look at this, uh, I'm looking and looking and today, uh, after the visiting 30th floor of Palace of Culture, I found the people that sitting here in the bench don't realize that, that they sitting on the historical uh, crossroads. Look at this here. Here is in the grass information. That was the crossroads of Chmielna Street. Over there was the Chmielna in one moment I show you. And here the street Wielka. That was, of course, before Second World War, Warsaw was almost 86% Warsaw was the bombed. That's why look at this. If you're looking at the Chmielna, uh, Chmielna indicator, does and now we've got the super modern uh, supermarkets and so that is the just don't see that was the before war that direction was the Chmielna. Uh, is the heart in Warsaw discovered the old traces? Always uh, does it just as such only uh, plates sometimes they showing the uh, fate of that place. Okay, let's go uh, closer to the Palace of Culture. Uh, as I said, plaster was the for, well, ceramic center, uh, and uh, it does just 36 uh, floors and 
300, uh, 288 rooms. Uh, they will say inspiration, there could be also seven sisters uh, in uh, Moscow is a so-called does a such uh, buildings and uh, the palace of culture the such such form uh, uh, you know the at the top you could notice also the clock uh, oh you see the clock is the third biggest clock uh, in the world the first uh, clock was the uh, just number one is in mecca clock royal tower 45 meters diameter and here uh, uh, only uh, we say six and a three point a meter the second is in Pittsburgh, if I don't mind, it's just 18 meters diameter. But you see massive socialistic uh, figures uh, around the palace. The, of course, inside the uh, four theaters, uh, four museums, uh, eight clubs, uh, restaurants, everything that's just the inside. And here is also entrance to the Taras with uh, platform that I did the short short with invitation. Um, we got the, on the 43rd floor nest for hawks even, nest for hawks, a uh, bee yard even, and a uh, cattery, we say, or cats, uh, in the, uh, the kept cats in the cellar. That is a such thing. You see the modern uh, theater of Warsaw, that's why it's a such, such form. But you see, the beginning of weekend, you see how the Varsovians preparing for the weekend. We maybe we someone they could answer some or they tell something for the Tom Gate Kraków, and uh, you know that's just at the entrance is Mitskevich. We say Polish Shakespeare, just the sitting and the front. You see on the part, okay. And let's go direction north. We always taking the route north. Uh, that was the all my tradition with the haygoers, that I always wanted to uh, uh, greet my the haygoers, and there was the. P platform that uh, uh, British platform uh, that got the such regular viewers and that tour that was the per payment now I just I wanted to do with you we, we should finish at the monument of uh, Warsaw uprising that's why the distance is about the three kilometers to walk that's why let's prepare your shoes and the we walking freestyle life uh, to the Tat studio as you see and uh, from that side, as I said, entrance to the, uh, it is the Marszałkowska Street, Marshall Street. And the huge building is going to be built with underground garage, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Everyone, they got the picture with Warszawa. <laughs> that's just, uh, oh, that's just uh, interesting, something about love of the rainbow love. Also, such a thing. Okay, and we're getting to the... No, as interesting matters connecting with the famous Varsovian. Uh, I, I tell you a few words about them. Oh, that is uh, everywhere you try to get the traces of history. Here was the former wall, ghetto wall uh, from the ghetto. Ghetto was uh, for Jews were created in October 1940. And here, just, I'm seeing, standing now in, in ghetto and outside. As they just uh, hello, hello, but uh, please uh, share information around your friends uh, uh, because it's the very special tour. Warsaw, not Kraków, younger capital. Warsaw became capital 1596. Swedish king relocated capital to Warsaw. Kraków was the five centuries, the old historical uh, capital, but the Warsaw is younger. Not first time I walking uh, the, that route. Uh, as I said, that I just I wanted on the YouTube first time share the live stream on that stage. You see the next pylon, we say obelisk, uh, uh, in front of the palace, and uh, we're getting interesting facts and corners, uh, historical, not destroyed by the Second World War. That is the most important. That's why let's stay to the end. Please, uh, if you want to support the channel, as they're always very important, like a cup of keep, uh, coffee a month, or uh, you know subscriptions, likes, is very important. That's why I put the likes also. Yeah, I know it's someone of you that are in the hurry. There's no time to watch immediately. And have a look, the jungle of skyscrapers. Warsaw has got the 27 skyscrapers over 100 meters. Compared with New York, there are over 5,000 <laughs> skyscrapers. But I tell you some interesting uh, story with uh, meeting Wojciech Jaruzelski with uh, David Rockefeller. Uh, that was in 1985. You know, Wojciech Jaruzelski, that was the uh, very serious uh, general 
uh, leader of uh, Polish government in, com in communism and uh, in the 80s, and uh, he was the, the black uh, glasses, and he was responsible for martial law, introduction martial law, 90, uh, uh, beginning of 80s. And then, uh, in 1985, uh, he visited uh, Rockefeller Center, that was the UN uh, um, Congress, and uh, uh, David Rockefeller they made the only one exception in his life, he came down uh, uh, with a lift and uh, in, uh, welcomed Wojciech Jaruzelski to his apartment on the top, on the top floor. Um, that was the discussion about the transformation, you know, the Poland uh, slowly is going to finish the communism. Uh, uh, that uh, speech uh, was, uh, there was a such uh, meeting for about the two hours. There was also an um, advisor of Ronald Reagan, Zbigniew Brzeziński. And they both, uh, uh, they discussing uh, uh, such matters. Interesting is that for me, the scene that uh, General Wojciech Jaruzelski came to the window and uh, looked in the Manhattan and he said, generations, they uh, created such... Uh, uh, we say jungle of skyscrapers, such uh, uh, um, uh, powerful uh, country. Uh, you weren't destroyed by the war. It's not like a war, so they uh, vanished uh, uh, from just completely, because Warsaw was completely bombed, as you know, from Second World War. And uh, he said, uh, I wish uh, the only one piece of the such, uh, 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 we say, landscape that could be in Poland. And look at this, it's like a miracle. There's a, now the Warsaw, they've got the highest skyscraper even in uh, European Union that's behind for the Golden Street. Mm, uh, that is the 310 meters uh, Warsaw Tower. That's why 310 meters Warsaw Tower. You see the foreigners also. In the, the, in the let's just be getting um, to the next Warsaw hero because we're mixing always the modern style with uh, uh, just the history. And Złota, according to tradition, the Lewandowski, famous Polish footballer, should have the apartment at the top of the such Złota 44 skyscraper. Lieb, uh, Daniel Liebeskind uh, uh, was the architect of the famous uh, uh, just uh, the skyscraper. And look at this. Uh, here, a little chill down, a chillaxing corner, and uh, we got the first uh, hero, a uh, symbol of Warsaw, uh, Janusz Korczak, the headmaster of uh, uh, Orphan House uh, in uh, Jewish ghetto. Uh, just uh, that uh, such monument is in the shape of menorah. And uh, too late were co uh, foundation of the such monuments, too late, because uh, just many years after war in communism was talking about Janusz Korczak was the taboo. That's why there's a such big hero that decided to walk with children to death. Uh, the Germans um, sent him to the Treblinka, the death camp, in 1942. Uh, and then that's a panoramic view on the Palace of Culture. Just look at this. And we're walking uh, north side to the north. Oh, just a few and uh, just we turning camera and you got in, getting better overview of the Palace of Culture behind me, of course. Uh, then we're walking a little uh, untypical route because we see the narrowest house uh, in Warsaw, a uh, carrot house, uh, and then uh, among the small streets uh, uh, to, to uh, just a monument in Muranów, a uh, monument of Warsaw Uprising, because Warsaw had the two uprisings, now over two million uh, citizens, and uh, this also recognized uh, like a little New York. <laughs> That's why according to that story that I tell you about uh, the Rockefeller Center, uh, that, that, that makes... Uh, there's a lot of uh, scooters. Uh, there was a lot of uh, even death accident in Warsaw because of going scooters, but they're going very slow, but they got a much higher pace. And look at this. That is uh, like a little, we say, Manhattan, <laughs> we say. Uh, some, they could... We have to wait, of course, for the uh, green. Uh, uh, spontaneous as the live stream we see the black clouds i hope that the thunderstorm not uh, getting me because today was the alert with the big thunderstorm in poland but the mainly west of warsaw not here oh that is the most impressive that view look at this oh just 
little skyscraper jungle again. Okay. Oh, scooters. Okay. Okay, okay, just getting. Always I did the tours uh, early morning. Uh, morning it was uh, just much better because now we got the big traffic of scooters. Okay, and uh, again the panoramic view. There is Świętokrzyska Holy Cross Street. The name uh, Holy Cross because of the uh, church of Holy Cross Church. That's why it's such such name. And uh, Ronald, uh, Ronald Wallenberg Street. Uh, we getting uh, to the corners connecting with a former um, Jewish community before Second World War in Warsaw, and uh, that is a just a little little story. You know, this is just a, such such idea with freestyle life. It just appeared, of course, uh, in in Krakow. Uh, thank you, three three people in the house. Please share information about the live stream and uh, such idea. Uh, uh, was the connected with, with tours uh, on the company Hago uh, that were only live streams and was infeasible to organize something else. Uh, now I'm increasing still the quality, as you see, wireless microphone, uh, the unlimited uh, data in T-Mobile. That's why I hope that the company helps me uh, better to, 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 to do the uh, richer live streams. Some people say that everything is fine with the, tell me that if you got a good uh, sharp view. And uh, look at this, the square, little bit, All Saints Square. That is just the place connecting with the street that was, and houses that not destroyed in the Second World War, the Platz Grzybowski. Uh, the Grzyb, it's in the mushroom. But uh, uh, just uh, uh, that is always connecting exhibit with ghetto and street that uh, luckily was not destroyed. The first uprising was in the Jewish ghetto. That was just uh, lasted very short, started just uh, uh, in April 1943. And here in the formats of uh, comics is the just uh, said uh, the ghetto pony. There's like a cartoon. Mm, uh, that, is the, that was the war, so look at this after uprising. That's just only ruins. Uh, and that is in the form of uh, comics, but it's only in Polish. Uh, that is uh, just the, uh, you know, the, there was the such oh, information, uh, the Germans, they were informed the Poles that uh, in ghetto there are dangerous diseases. They shouldn't uh, touch the Jews because they spreading dangerous disease of God, the lies here, uh, such on typhus. And uh, Jews were informed that to be protected uh, good from the bandits outside. That was the Nazi propaganda that, uh, uh, that made the such, uh, oh, that is the no entry for, for Jews, uh, such information. And uh, in the modern form, uh, that's the such comics. Maybe for the young generation, the, uh, they could speak as such. And here is the blowing of the great synagogue uh, in Warsaw. Look at this. That was the final decision of the Jürgen Strop with one button, press the button and said, hi Hitler and blown the main biggest synagogue in Warsaw. On the way, we see only one synagogue that survived. Oh, that's interesting. That's just the two flags together. Uh, and the, as I promised, uh, the street Pruzna, uh, in the beautiful shape survived that house on the left still waiting restoration uh, but uh, uh, that is if there was organized any jewish uh, festivals the always that street played in the uh, uh, some films uh, that's very popular interesting is to hear uh, they're giving the name uh, of the street in the different languages like uh, russian polish uh, uh, and uh, just uh, general it is just pruzna street as you see, Pruzna, P R O Z and N. That's just a such short view. And uh, we're getting interesting in that building. Um, uh, that was the yard that any Italian architect get the idea with uh, praying Adolf Hitler. There was a such statue, and Hitler as the Catholic play, praying inside. And that uh, statue disappeared. I don't know what happened, why Warsaw ashamed of the such modern art. Maybe was not proper, I don't know, but it's just uh, such a statue I did remember uh, in my former walks. Look at this, and that is the interesting, that is the typical Warsaw view. The old architecture and jungle of skyscrapers around. 
Oh, have a look. Yeah, just, if somebody asks, I got the official holiday time. That's just uh, in the, my free time, just I share the, the walk with you. Oh, just have a look. That's it, just Kingsley. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. As we see, uh, some people that travel to Bora Bora uh, discover other places. And I've got the such passion that's it, just to always uh, uh, discover more and more the same places. That's why you see still uh, places that I'm uh, for years travel. Uh, Krakow, Warsaw, Warsaw, Krakow. And uh, uh, still I could uh, discover something new with you, of course, with your support. Have a look. That's uh, just we crossing street with the uh, tram line. Just on the path. Of course, the entire, in Warsaw there are two uh, metro lines. There is the subway. Oh, that is the best view on the old and uh, new, uh, does it like a past and uh, future in the such, such form. Thank you for joining. Please stay uh, as long as you could on the live stream or share the live stream among your friends. It's a very special walk. Uh, Warsaw is uh, 380 kilometers uh, far away from Krakow, north of Krakow. Um, that is over two million uh, capital city of Poland, the young capital city. But Warsaw was like fast completely de de destroyed. In the Second World War, was destroying Warsaw. Compared with uh, uh, Krakow, uh, Warsaw is there just uh, like a phoenix from the ashes uh, uh, rebuilt. But uh, we enjoy also the nice weather, and uh, we want to get to old synagogue that survived bombing, because the tour is untypical. We're looking for the old architecture that was not destroyed in the in the war. That's why that, that tour is the, my special snooping tour to uh, show you things that normally the people got the impression Warsaw is new, modern. Uh, you know, I've got the pain in my uh, neck even uh, to look still up because you've got the such <laughs> uh, still skyscrapers around. But there is the also feasible uh, to get uh, uh, old, old corners. That's why I hope that is, I not miss the special. As you see, I have to walk that skyscraper around. Uh, even here, there's the, from communist era, uh, so-called uh, <laughs> um, little draw drawings uh, of the draws, uh, block of flat and uh, modern architecture. Okay. And uh, as I said, everywhere, bikes, uh, e-bikes, uh, scooters. Oh, thank you, Satem. Oh, they just <laughs> with 200. Oh, that's like, look like a big, big thanks. Uh, you know, uh, that's, of course, a little also expenses with the getting here to Warsaw because I'm not in the center of Warsaw. Uh, Satem was uh, my, my grand, uh, grand also supporter member. Uh, the, the, I have to travel 20 kilometers. I don't live. Uh, in the in the center of Warsaw, that's why there was the, like a challenge, and I considering uh, how to, how would be the, the life of this, the sense of the do the life. Always is there such questions, and uh, big thanks as just always a little bit. And have a look here uh, that we getting uh, the only one synagogue uh, survived the um, Second World War. There's also a kosher shop. Uh, and uh, interesting, that site looked uh, <laughs> not so interesting, like a scratched old house. But the Germans uh, transformed the synagogue into horse stable. That's why they survived the, uh, the, the Second World War. Uh, as I said, the, Warsaw, the, the uh, planning of destroying Warsaw was before the uh, Second World War. General Pest had the plan of the transforming Warsaw into garnison and relocating Warsaw far away. That's why just before the Second World War, Germans planned the completely destroying Warsaw and making Neue Stadt Warsaw as the new stadt, new city Warsaw. Have a look. Does it just the something is the in Hebrew, if somebody could read. You could get, but it's just information about the uh, kosher shop that getting here. You see, sklep kosherny. Uh, kosher, it means the pure, the good for eating. You know, there are five, and the synagogue Nozik. That was the family that created the synagogue at the end of 19th century. That's why it's a beautiful shape. And uh, as always for my groups, I tell there is the kosher is also a matter of the splitting proteins. You shouldn't uh, drink, uh, eat the uh, child in the, or the, uh, eat the, uh, or the uh, pour the child in the mother's milk. That's why having cappuccino and eating chicken is the crime. You have to keep the gap six hours and you shouldn't make proteins of the milk 
the uh, eggs or just the, um, just the for instance, uh, 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 poultry, for instance, of the park. And have a look here is the, just the entrance to the synagogue Nozik. But the uh, enchanting view is there from the park. Uh, at night is the nice illuminated, is the real uh, like a diamond, the treasure among the, uh, you know, skyscrapers. The people, they've got the, you know, uh, bureau work, uh, I think, of the offices, because there are a lot of corporations in Warsaw. Look at this, it's a nice, relaxing place, uh, even with hammock or things like that. There's a swing, swinging. And uh, in Warsaw, if you want to uh, work, it's also very, very nice, quiet corners, not, not the busy roads. And uh, there's the nice, charming uh, parks. Uh, and that park is the called like a pocket uh, park. Because the, between the <laughs> skyscrapers, the uh, old architecture of synagogue that survived bombing, and of course, a lot of green, a lot of uh, trees that even you don't see skyscrapers above. But it's very, very special, very special. Uh, uh, that's why that's a just is a worth to work. Uh, Warsaw is also Warsaw University. For instance, they've got the number one in Poland. If somebody uh, want to real get the uh, good, uh, uh, you know, uh, good efficiency, get the new uh, beautiful uh, jobs. Uh, as a just of course, the Warsaw is like a number one. I, I would say in Krakow there's the oldest university, but in Warsaw, the, uh, the a lot of students they got the good work after. Mm, uh, they graduated. And look at this, there's everywhere offices, entrance to the skyscrapers, <laughs> of course. The, the, and we've got the special shortcut to getting... Uh, <laughs> yes, and that's a little look. Yeah, thank you for still uh, following. And uh, we're getting again to Grzybowska Street. We, we did remember... Uh, ah, that was the tapas uh, gastro bar. If somebody likes sushi, tapas, mm, they... Uh, I got the gods for, uh, friends from uh, the friends and <laughs> visitors uh, from Philippines, and they immediately asked me about the sushi and sushi bars. And in Warsaw is real paradise with the good quality uh, sushi that gives the, the, it's, it's even uh, kosher sushi, but they just uh, you got the full full choice of the such Asian food. Oh, and have a look. That's uh, just the such form. Okay, and they were getting direction the uh, Mirovskie Halle, that's uh, just the Mirov. Uh, that was the place that you could get the always uh, got a good deal. Uh, what does it mean, the good deal? Uh, you see, clean, Warsaw is very clean. And uh, mm, that was the time that he was uh, close the ghetto, Jewish ghetto, and uh, the Poles, Jews, uh, um, and uh, yeah, Germans, they make the just the... Uh, uh, exchange because uh, yes, Halamiroska, of course, and uh, that's why I share you some of my information about that, that place. Mm, normally, is you know for, for people here that such walking distance is uh, better to go by bike or scooter. But I, I did the tour even in the very strong winter. I did remember full of snow, temperature minus 20 degrees Celsius, and was the, my record tours with Hago Company that the, the, the stages in the winter. That's why I think it's the first tour in the summer in the such form. That is the little park with the, with the for children, of course. And we get in Hala Mirowska. Uh, ah, Kulewski. Uh, from here is the two kilometers, uh, about uh, no, no, no more than two kilometers. Uh, Royal Castle, uh, please write because I prepare for you tomorrow uh, any short uh, life. Uh, tomorrow, I think the life should be a little shorter about the uh, Starówka, old, old town and Royal Castle, because tomorrow I'm going to join a very special uh, meeting connecting with the Copernicus and there's the astrological meeting that you could see even uh, the <laughs> astronomical and, and also the observation of the stars. Uh, the uh, science, uh, scientific uh, center uh, Copernicus organizes such, such meeting tomorrow. That's why just uh, don't worry, just tomorrow I do the in the second uh, part. Uh, the, that part is the just very untypical, like a snooping of the undestroyed uh, traces. Oh, I see the dark clouds behind the Hala Mirowska, we say like uh, old cloth holes <laughs> in the cloth holes, those are just the foot uh, holes, but was the former horse riding school uh, for cavalry. And uh, then the same, that uh, such big building wasn't destroyed by Nazi Germany because they treated it 
uh, as the orientating point, you know, pilots, uh, or they, they had to leave the, any buildings uh, uh, to orientating for the bombing buildings around. That's why there's such a trick uh, that uh, they were just not, not, not destroyed on the part. Okay, just let's, let's go inside. There is the CCTV camera place, but I hope that just we could walk through. There's a beautiful architecture. And there was the just I even there's a little like a Tudor style even. You see the Halle Mirovskie, that's a three to one. And the just I think at the end of Friday there's a just the finishing the, the trade on the 12 days. But always uh, in that time you could get the everything. That was the so-called the uh, was sold Schmarz uh, Schwarz Midway Povidwo. It was like a pasta. Uh, soap and uh, confiture of the jam you could buy there. There everything of what's available is the fruits and vegetables. Now I see is the the market always is busy mornings. Now is the afternoon. Of course, uh, we've got the longest uh, days uh, now in in Poland. And have a look. Just the, on the right side, the view on the Halle Mirowskie. Mm. Of course, the, uh, what was the regulation of food? Uh, the uh, Germans, in the, we're speaking about the Second World War, still the bridges to Second World War. Uh, in the time of, uh, in ghetto time, uh, there were the 3,000 calories a day per Aryans, uh, uh, per, uh, per, per Germans. Nicht Juden, non-Jews, they were Poles. They've got the 800 calories a day, and uh, mm, uh, Jews only 200 calories a day. That's why how to survive with 200 calories. Hello, hello. And uh, that's why the Jews had to exchange everything. But there was the special, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, even cues uh, uh, to uh, creating, uh, you know, uh, waiting for anything, for nothing. And uh, it's the famous joke that Yoshek uh, 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 standing with uh, the such queue whole night and they're keeping chamber pot and they're asking him, uh, Joshek, why are you staying? What for are you staying for? Ah, just uh, uh, for nothing. But why are you keeping chamber pot in your hand? Ah, just uh, we got the shit anyhow. Anyone that is just the only shit. That's why the such uh, situation was very dramatic. Uh, regulation food, regulated food, uh, it was the causing big starvation. Now you know the uh, average uh, salary or so in Poland is the higher, of course, but the, of course uh, inflation is getting up and uh, it's not easy, of course. And uh, that is just one moment, oh, we see the florist sending at the busy alley of JP2. JP2, John Paul II, JP2. And uh, we go into the narrowest house uh, in Warsaw and even in, uh, in the world, recognizes the narrowest house. And again, view on the B Warsaw after work. Uh, you know, average pace in Warsaw after in the traffic jams is about the 10 kilometers per hour. That's why much better to go by bike uh, or scooter. Uh, that's why there's no sense. Uh, there are too much often the uh, traffic jams. And look at this, the uh, color of uh, Warsaw flag is uh, golden red. That's why the, uh, the trams are also yellow red. Mm, uh, that is the color of coat of arms of Warsaw, Sirenka, the mermaid, like Cop Copenhagen. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, and cost of living, of course, there's the double I think in Kraków. <laughs> we compare even uh, the, but the um, salary is also higher. Yes, the just the people from Warsaw got the higher sal highest salary in Poland. If we compare other places, and the standard of living, of course, uh, in the center. Warsaw much more uh, focusing the mm, main offices in the center, not like in Kraków as in suburbs, as they much more in the center. That's why there's a such uh, a contrast to Kraków. In Kraków, we, we got a such uh, special rule. Uh, look at this. Uh, that any building should be higher than Sankt Mary Basilica. And finish. <laughs> and uh, and uh, here in Warsaw, or oh, behind me, Hala Mirowska, showing, see, that's uh, just the beautiful. And uh, mm, here in Warsaw, there is the, like a competition to build uh, still the higher skyscraper. And as I said, over 27 skyscrapers breaking 100 meters. That's why there's a such uh, a big jungle of skyscrapers on the path. Oh, I see still stronger. Oh, we see something Dubai ice cream even appeared, Dubai ice cream. And look at this, reclamo the Coco Chanel. 
and uh, the our Halamirowska. The former uh, uh, territory the, for people from ghetto was the chance uh, to, to exchange something uh, to get a good deal. We've got a, a nice uh, uh, grapes, a uh, green cofinero, very nice. I prefer cofinero. Uh, they all hope is in coffee, or uh, <laughs> uh, I know that such new uh, interesting sentence in any coffee shop. Uh, don't make uh, love, laugh, laugh, uh, make a good, good coffee, or things like that. Oh, you see, uh, chili vibes even, oh, look at this, chili vibes, uh, American bar grill. And uh, Varsovian, they like the American style. You see the red uh, couches, oh, they're just they're very special, but they're very good for the to sitting. And okay, we got uh, a lot of postbox offices, so-called uh, in-post, uh, uh, the, the new time after COVID time, we've got the different competitive companies, the delivery services and uh, out, of the out of the box, so-called part. And uh, in one moment, we're getting um, to the famous uh, place with the narrowest house in the world, but you've got also a place of the former uh, Jewish uh, council uh, the, during the, the, the ghetto. It's the also beautiful building that uh, survived the, the bombing. That's why uh, I always I want to shout to the contrast. Not, uh, hello, hello, big thanks, uh, Liam. Not all, all Warsaw was bombed. In my tour, in that tour, we snooping uh, places, corners, they were untouched uh, uh, or they touched a little bit in the war. You see every corner uh, traces of the ghetto wall. Just look at this. There's again the wall, ghetto wall. And uh, now, uh, just like I'm escaping out of the ghetto one moment. But they, uh, it's very hard to orientate there. There's just, <laughs> they're giving only some pieces of the, where was the ghetto was uh, put on the path. And uh, in one moment it's much easier because we uh, getting the street that uh, the tram went through the ghetto. Um, and uh, there was the bridge uh, uh, for Jews walking over. Look at this, that architecture of the church is the nice composed. With composing uh, in Warsaw, <laughs> that is the little bit uh, uh, chaotic matters, uh, uh, asymmetrical uh, streets, and uh, <laughs> it's the not, not easy to orientate. Uh, first time uh, I walk in the street Chodna, and uh, like a chilly street, and uh, for me it was the very hard to orientate at first to walk in zigzag matter. But uh, just we walking now direction to the west. Uh, for the new Sphinx in Warsaw, uh, southwest of Warsaw is going to build big hub, the big airport. I think the bigger than even Berlin for 50 million passengers. Now south of Warsaw, Radom is 100 kilometers south. The, uh, there is the uh, Warsaw Radom Airport. The, <laughs> that's why if you go from, okay, from Kraków, uh, after uh, two hours, you've got the such sign Warsaw Radom. That's why the Warsaw is getting bigger and bigger. It's spread 100 kilometers around, and slowly uh, the second biggest city in Poland, there was Łódź, Polish Manchester. Now Łódź, Łódź is going to be uh, just like a dormitory of Warsaw and maybe in the future also the uh, agglomeration Warsaw. The, the, in the future maybe we see the name Warsaw Wuch. That's why Wuch, uh, Warsaw is growing and growing. And in one moment, uh, you know, it's you know, not, not easy to talk because it's the very, very, uh, um, it's the, you know, not fresh air. It's just uh, very warm and uh, humid uh, is, is uh, very low. That's why it's very dry. Uh, dry word, uh, air. Okay, in one moment uh, we're getting to that that building that I show you from the, that I promised. That was the former uh, uh, council, uh, we say Judenrat, there was the just Jewish council in the ghetto. Uh, before war there were uh, 350,000 Jews in, in Warsaw, there was like a 30% of population of Warsaw were Jews, and uh, in the ghetto there were squeezed over 350,000, and uh, here was the president of the Jewish Council, was the Chernyakov, and uh, he uh, was the just. <laughs> oh, thank you, Christopher. And uh, have a look. That is the most beautiful. Um, uh, the the building uh, survived the, the bombing, and uh, that was the tragic situation for president of Jewish Council 
you know, Chernyakov. Uh, he uh, couldn't save uh, the Jews they sending to Treblinka. He decided to commit suicide. That's why the such uh, president of, of uh, Jewish community here does just the tragic history. And have a look here. Uh, the pylons are just not so very uh, transparent. They, are, they should be illuminated, but uh, they, uh, they are almost invisible. Uh, but the, the pylons, uh, they, uh, they are in the, in the shape of the former, uh, on the place on the former bridge between two ghettos, ghetto, uh, uh, ghetto uh, big ghetto in the north, and here south, uh, small ghetto. That's why the Jews had to walk over such a bridge um, every single day. And in the old photographies from ghetto, you see the tram went through the, uh, through the, the street, uh, between the two ghettos. In one moment, I show you the plan where we are, and is the much better. That's again the ghetto wall, and here have a look. Oh, that's just the. There was the big ghetto, uh, large ghetto north, and we are exactly here. Look at this. Oh, just we are. That's why we started uh, from that edge. There was the Palace of Culture. Palace of Culture is with the territory just on the on the also ghetto. We walking here. And in one moment we see the narrowest house, uh, and then we walking like across uh, to the, uh, the, the, the that corner. Mm, uh, but the large ghetto was in the north 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 side. There's the view on the bridge in the old photography. Take take a picture, three to one. As you see the the walking Jews over, and tram went in down. That was the the ghetto mm, uh, cr created by Germans October 1940, and uh, in the pylons. The people looked uh, inside uh, through the oculars, but it's just a uh, camera, I think it doesn't work, but it's just, we could, oh. Oh, you could see something, you see something? Okay, oh, it's the new method. Okay, you got the uh, view. We're lacking 1942 what happened. You see the same bridge, uh, look at this. Uh, we're snooping with camera view. You see something? No, there's nothing. <laughs> It's not, not easy. Oh, but now you got it. You get, get it? Get it? Oh, get it. Three to one picture. Yes, that is the very magic matter because we, first time, we snooping. You see oculars, 1942. Uh, here is, I think, uh, he is broken something. <laughs> uh, yes, that is just the... Ah, that the turn the knob. Oh, but this doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> that's we leaving. Okay, and have a look. Uh, here there's the old uh, Kodna street that we walked. And uh, the, the bridge was over there. Look at this bridge. Oh, the, and Jews had to walk a such bridge. And now the illuminated uh, pylons uh, symbolizing. And there's Ion Street, Ion Street. And in one moment we got the narrowest house in the world, uh, I would say even in the world, Mr. Carrot. Uh, his father uh, survived ghetto. Uh, sitting in the crouching position, crouching position, uh, uh, the whole, uh, long time, uh, 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 many months, and uh, then uh, he's got the, this Israeli architect got the such idea of the creating uh, uh, narrowest house. It's of course apartment no wider than 80 centimeters. Look at this between the two blocks. Oh, you see that the block skyscraper, ten, ten uh, floors. That is the, that house. Could, you could imagine uh, the leaf. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Actually, and look at this. You could imagine the uh, entrance is the from the ladder up. The, the first is the little kitchen. Uh, the middle floor is the also for reading something. At the top is the. Uh, of course, one single bed because it's the single uh, single room. As of course, it's also a tourist attraction. The people they could book such apartment and they could sit in the narrowest house in the world. Mr. Carrot, you could uh, uh, get the information about this uh, house, about his project uh, uh, on the Wikipedia or so. The just uh, and you see there the highest now skyscraper on Warsaw is over there, Warsaw Tower. Uh, 310 meters next year uh, there would be just panoramic view from the Warsaw Tower. Yes, oh, very kind. I, I see a uh, compare with Krakow, uh, uh, Varsovians are much more friendly. They, are, they like filmmakers. They are used that filmmakers, they do different things. That's why I think uh, Warsaw is the uh, little paradise for, 
uh, filmmakers. Uh, of course, the you know film studios, uh, a lot of television. That's why in, in Krakow, if I do live stream, sometimes someone want to kill me with their eyes, <laughs> with their <laughs> sight, <laughs> uh, evil eye uh, view. And uh, here in Warsaw, no problem. The people smiling, uh, that's why uh, the same with marathons. Uh, Warsaw organized the nice uh, marathons. And the same, my friends, runners, they say in Warsaw is always good, cheering up, uh, friendly atmosphere. And in Krakow, you know, they, they are like uh, UFO objects or aliens if they're running uh, the marathons. The marathons is the, the big trouble always for tourism. Uh, for me, it was always uh, the problem if they uh, got the marathon, the uh, whole city is blocked. But in Warsaw, they enjoy uh, big marathons. Uh, they, they could uh, come also to Warsaw for the, the path. And have a look. Uh, we're taking a little bit uh, to the north, and we have to come back uh, to getting uh, the, for, for me, interesting, I think, uh, corner, because the, that part is the scene we know. We go in Garden Street. Oh, there's the quick delivery, everything. You could get the quick chickens, cheddar, everything. Quick, uh, quick, uh, and of course, Rossmann everywhere. In, in, in Poland, there's uh, just the biggest drogery shops, uh, Rossmann around. And we see, of course, each part is the apteka, it means the pharmacy. That's the important apteka, it's like in German, apotheke, as uh, just the uh, corner. And again, the mixture of the architecture from communism, that is the style of the socialism, even the, the uh, 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 block of the, such apartments without uh, uh, balconies. The old houses always get the nice, nice balconies on the park. And here, uh, the oh, little the last tailor. It's a very typical job from the tailor shop on the park. But then now I could share uh, the such uh, decision of the Janusz Korczak, Dr. Janusz Korczak, next to him, uh, the, the famous uh, Nobel Prize uh, person from Warsaw, Beshevich Singer. She's, he's got the Nobel Prize in 1978 for the D-Book, the world famous uh, book. Uh, then we've got the famous composer uh, Władysław Spielmann, and he is the main uh, uh, feature in the film of Roman Polański, Pianist. Uh, watch the film of Roman Polański, Pianist, is about the here, about the Warsaw Ghetto. The um, Wehrmacht officer saved his life uh, of Władysław Spielmann. Then he became uh, director of the Polish radio. Is the real uh, figure, real person, uh, Władysław Spielmann. And of course, Janusz Korczak, that is a very special uh, person, because he sacrificed his life. Obvious Germans offered him the uh, new passport. He could uh, emigrate to Switzerland or they got the new, new uh, position. Uh, but uh, he said, uh, if the doctor, they've got the patient and patient dying, how could you uh, leave the, the patient alone? And uh, he, as the doctor, uh, uh, was the just, of course, pediatrist or the responsible for children, uh, didn't want to uh, leave them. That's just that they came with them uh, to the, that's just. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> perfect. Ah, yes, 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 Dover. Oh, that's nice. Yes, that, that you know, that, mm, I expected in, in, in to Poland the more people came because of Olymp uh, we say uh, European Games, as the we was, uh, first title was the Olympic Games, uh, but uh, that was uh, just not a lot of uh, visitors. And then I decided to make the one week uh, now the we say holidays uh, close Warsaw. And uh, then in that time I could share with you the, some, uh, you know, uh, interesting curiosities around Warsaw. Now we're getting back the direction the JP2 alley, because they just, uh, it's much more, of course, uh, transparent. Uh, we've got the such completely, <laughs> we say, uh, Bandok uh, corner. Uh, and that, that, that street is not, uh, not so to top interesting. And uh, in one moment, uh, we, we're getting the busy road. There's uh, much more people, there's much more alive on that part. Yes, and uh, how was the, uh, now, uh, how was the uh, developing Warsaw? And uh, we're getting to the roots of Polish spirit, of Polish uh, tradition, noble tradition. We say lot, we say lot. Uh, that was the, in Poland, was the Szlachta Magnateria. And uh, here in Warsaw, 
Każdy szlachcic na zachodzie nie równy wojewodzie. It means that they were independent lords with their own jurisdiction. Is the jurisdiction? They were independent with independent court of the king. And Warsaw is the like we see patchwork of the small former duchies, like a juridiki, that's like a small duchies, small districts, that each district, the owner was the lord. And the, that was the created big problems, because the king was the weaker and weaker. That is the problem of the um, uh, uh, history of Polish democracy. We've got the noble democracy. And, uh, and we've got the always elected kings and always a, a new king had to convert to Catholicism. There was invisible that he uh, 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 stood on their own religion. And look at this. Yes, uh, the, thank you, Krzysztof. And uh, look at this. Uh, we've got the, uh, the most powerful dynasty. They were Jagiellonians. That king is on the banknote 100 zlotys. Yes, Władysław Jagiełło, Jogailo. That's why the Jagiellonian University. Uh, he married much younger Jadwiga, the first wife. They were donors of university. Uh, but interesting fact that after Jagiellonians, we've got the still elected kings from the all visible neighbor countries. Look at this. There was candidate was candidate was the Ivan the Terrible, Russian Tsar, candidate to be king of Poland. There was a such proposal. Then Swedish, German, uh, French, Hungarian. Uh, and uh, who was the winner? The first elected king was the Henri de Andre de Troyes. The, uh, thank you, Benner. Henri de Troyes, you know, that was the, the uh, uh, king that uh, didn't like Polish weather. He stayed in Krakow only a few months and then escaped dressed as girl, as a girl, and uh, then killed in France uh, Huguenot. But uh, he became Poles, uh, uh, Catholic uh, in that part. That's why I've got the elected kings. And the first free election, free elections were here in Warsaw, South uh, east from Warsaw, there was the first big fields that for several months uh, the different uh, noble people lords arrived uh, from around uh, Poland, Lithuania, Kalzonia uh, commercial. There's a little hotter is getting, but the, I think it's enough now. It's the plus 30 degrees Celsius, I think, because it's the hot from the concrete. Uh, and uh, uh, that, uh, that such election was the no alcohol. The uh, noble people, they <laughs> didn't touch any alcohol. It was the strong prohibition. It was the prohibition in the, such election. That's why the invisible, they could drink something. Okay, and uh, in one moment we're getting very important crossroads. Okay, Solidarność. Oh, yes, yes, we are on the good road because I want to show you a very interesting uh, um, part of them. And have a look. We're taking the little loop around. Uh, 12 people in the house. Thank you, thank you. Big thanks, Bene. Uh, please uh, share information about your friends because just uh, we're getting very interesting uh, uh, also new corners of Warsaw. And uh, I show you something interesting about the variety of culture of Warsaw too. As I just the part, or just let me let me cross the safety the part. Okay. Oh, McDo, of course. I see. I've heard the only one McDonald's with. Uh, uh, blue sign is in Arizona. They permitted for the blue sign of McDonald's in Arizona. In Germany, green. <laughs> uh, okay, and have a look. We're getting to the very special uh, view on the... Um, that church was the stronger damage. But again, the former Calvin uh, church, they were Calvinists in Warsaw. They still have like Calvin uh, uh, goers uh, just in, in Warsaw. And that church was also the tower not strong destroyed, as it just did the spire in front, as you see. We're going Solidarity Alley, and uh, we're going direction the uh, main town hall of Warsaw. And uh, the, 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 we see interesting the former Lenin Museum. As they just Lenin, the show was the Lenin Museum. Interesting action of Arsenal and the uh, Warsaw uprising. Uh, um, monument, very special, that American presidents always uh, get the speeches there, they're like uh, Donald pra Trump the last time. And uh, uh, what was the matter with Calvin's? You know, there was the very uh, Calvin. Uh, to be Calvin, you have to be rich, uh, because the, you are born uh, rich. <coughs> and uh, Łódź, Warsaw, Wrocław, 
on the Krakow didn't have Calvin uh, 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 just the society. That's why the Calvin community. That's why in Warsaw there was the main Calvinistic uh, church, official called the Evangelic Church. And interesting, during the bombing of Warsaw, you know, 86% Warsaw was bombed, destroyed. That, that, that part uh, luckily uh, survived and uh, we see very transparent spire on the part. Uh, Warsaw got the uh, uh, biggest Islam minority, even two mosques in Warsaw. Maybe I do the special program about it. I know people from Thailand also, they could interest it. Maybe if you wished, I could uh, go. Oh, that is the, just the place connecting with Friedrich Chopin. There was the uh, such. Uh, Friedrich Chopin is the from, of course, a small village from born in Warsaw by, by Warsaw, Żelazowa Wola. And here, as the eight-year boy, they did the first concert, uh, public concert, uh, in the, pre uh, we say, pa presidential palace today. That was the former the theater and Koniec Polski Palace. There was such a young boy, Chopin. In uh, Warsaw is the heart of Friedrich Chopin. Uh, father was French, that's why the such French pronounce. Uh, yes, uh, uh, the first uh, plan, or the, just at the beginning of war, Warsaw started defending war. 15% Warsaw damage in September 1939. Then uh, was the ghetto, uh, up, uh, Jewish ghetto uprising in Jewish ghetto in 1943. There was the other 20%. Then in uh, 1944, the second biggest uprising, 200,000 Varsovians joined. Now 2,000 survivors still living in the world, mainly in Warsaw. 2,000 uh, survivors of the Warsaw Uprising. Always on the 1st August 1944 is the beginning of uh, uprising, is the one minute of silence. The whole Warsaw is frozen. That is the moment that all Varsovians respect the beginning of the uprising. And look at this, the Calvinic uh, church. Very special spire, it's very transparent in the, on the panoramic view. As you see, oh, excellent, that part. But is the, uh, that is the former, you say there's just the uh, Evangelic and uh, Calvin church on the solidarity. Uh, or you could be the safe, <laughs> safe is safe, international world. And the Palace of Culture that is going around, you see, in the panoramic view, oh, that just, I did it, you see Palace of Culture, Palace of Culture. Aha. <laughs> Benches. <laughs> ah, yes. But we see the uh, um, a nice tram that went here to Leszno, because it's the road to Leszno to Karcelak. Karcelak does the same, uh, the old black marketing uh, in the war. Leszno, number 13. Uh, and uh, tram to Leszno <laughs> is in the such nice... Uh, ah, there's the modern theater. Interesting. Ah, there's... Ah, that is the uh, commercial of the theater inside. Oh, you see even, oh, that's interesting. Oh, there's nice music. I, I, I'm afraid of background music that, that stopped the life. <laughs> it's always if the, anywhere is background music. But this is the Kamienica theater. That's the commercial of the theater in Warsaw. More than theater. And uh, the tram is used as the nice, uh, Add or they're just enchanting. Oh, you see, oh, that's interesting, very nice part. Please ask any questions, of course. And the main uh, Calvin church, as I said, on Warsaw, very close here, lived the uh, Cyprian Kaminorvit, the third Polish bard, uh, lived here in the house uh, just on the right. And just uh, let's go, uh, Solidarity Alley. Uh, Polish penny markets, there are now Żabka, they appeared everywhere. As it's mean frog, they almost open. Look at this 24 7. Is there no life for uh, vendors? Uh, 24 7 opening, <laughs> just with uh, ATMs or so, or even self service uh, supermarkets now without uh, sellers, without uh, you got the self service machines and everything you could pay in cart. In Poland, is now so uh, pay, pay, buying by cart is so, so simple that people don't exchange even now. Have a look. That is such Warsaw uh, with the piece of world that survived and uh, the, uh, that is the Torka crosses so-called, Torka. That was the engineer, they got the, such idea of the putting the places that Hitler 
uh, soldiers uh, killed Poles, uh, always uh, such uh, commemorating places. You see here, 11 December 1943, Hitler soldiers uh, shot 40 Poles. The place uh, uh, sacrificed with the uh, blood of, of, of Poles uh, for fighting for freedom. That is uh, Warsaw. The, you, everywhere you see such uh, the traces of the war. Behind is the bookshop. And that is very special. Compared with Kraków, uh, uh, we got the everywhere the old architecture. But here in Warsaw, <laughs> uh, you know, you have to snoop. Uh, just around the corner, the main town hall, don't worry. And you see the similar cross, a Torka. It's called the Torka, not like a Tor, but it's the Torka, the same place. 30 poles here shot. There, over there, 40 poles, sh poles shot here. 30 Poles. We shouldn't forget over 6 million Poles also suffered uh, during the Second World War. My uh, brother of grandfather was sent to Auschwitz at the age of 31, was the, just the shot uh, in Auschwitz. That's why the, uh, the, the tourists in Auschwitz uh, concentration camp are just uh, in shock that uh, not only Jews but the Poles were uh, also the second victims uh, and Hitler's plan was the vanishing Poles uh, immediately after Jews. Have a look, uh, as we go in direction Arsenal, that Arsenal will coming closer soon. Uh, stay in car touch uh, and uh, encourage people to join Arsenal. That was the former Arsenal. I shouldn't pronounce R because I try to speak British English. That's why, sorry, as uh, Arsenal and uh, there's just a bank uh, square. And the, on that place was the most beautiful and biggest synagogue in Warsaw. But now is the blue skyscraper. No traces of the synagogue, but I show you the a little icon showing the uh, that such uh, 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 such synagogue that was on that place. At the end of uh, ghetto uh, uh, Jewish ghetto uprising, uh, um, exactly uh, the uprising finished, the uh, synagogue was blown up, and we are just close the main uh, ratush. Uh, that's a ratush. It's called the town hall of Warsaw. The people everywhere running. You've got a steel feeling, does it just uh, in Warsaw? A lot of businesses. And this is just the close the district Muranów. We're staying on the busy island. But uh, you've got a beautiful view on the Muranów. Uh, that was the behind Krasinski Palace. I show you the top modern uh, former department store uh, by the Jewish owner Simpson. And uh, on the left, uh, that, is, that direction is the biggest Jewish museum, Polin. Uh, but we don't go so, so far that direction. We're going that direction to uh, Warsaw uh, Uprising Monument. And in one moment, uh, I show you the uh, former synagogue uh, view is uh, the, the picnic. Now is the uh, Starzyński president of Warsaw Monument. In the time of communism, that square, they've got the name Dzierżyński uh, Square. That was the Polish butcher, uh, right hand of Stalin. He killed a lot of Poles, he got a Polish background, but the Dzierżyński monument was in front of the uh, palace. But that uh, palace, those former palace and even theater, if you see that is the dome, uh, that was the former uh, oh, uh, even theater. And uh, now we've got the president Chaskowski, uh, very good president, and uh, then it just, uh, uh, Warsaw is getting green. Uh, uh, more and more cars, uh, they should go electric cars uh, and uh, gas. Uh, that's why the CC delivery uh, service is also uh, environmental friendly, green energy. Okay, let's cross. And uh, I, I show you the most beautiful architecture of the waterworks, uh, so called Gruba Kaszka, the just uh, so called uh, the name of the uh, waterwork towers and uh, water work tower, they got the shape uh, also uh, like a monument, is just protected. Yes, Solidarity uh, Street is on that part. We came from that, that corner, you see Calvin, uh, Calvinist uh, church. Very popular is steak and uh, grill from a uh, chain Sphinx. You see the nice mirroring. I know you are from the food uh, experts, uh, Bene or so. It's by, uh, you know, the most popular now pierogi dumplings. In Poland, down there, now Ukrainian dumplings, they were converted, they were Russian dumplings, but with uh, cheese and potatoes. 
as uh, just the uh, such famous uh, pierogi dumplings, the most popular uh, food, uh, just the Polish food. And you see that the uh, such waterwork <laughs> building is now in the busy alley. Okay, have a look. Uh, here we're getting something uh, special because uh, the building from outside, they don't have the transparent... Uh, <laughs> yes, so Ruske. Gówna, you see the main Judaic uh, library. Look at this. And uh, just it's not transparent place. That just you cannot uh, discover that. Uh, that is done. now is uh, they going to build the main uh, museum of the uh, Jewish uh, ghetto uprising, Family Nissenbaum uh, Foundation. They got they want to sponsor. Oh, just I could wave you on the part and have a look. Here is the special thing: the Great Synagogue. That was exactly uh, such a view on the Great Synagogue uh, built in 1875 but they uh, blown in the, in the air by the Jürgen Strop in May 1943. That was the um, finishing of the uprising in the Jewish ghetto. That's just the such, such form. Yes, uh, that is also here in the Judaic uh, uh, library. It's an interesting uh, collection of Emanuel Ringelblum. Emanuel Ringelblum, uh, they put the documents, photographies, inside of the churns of the for milk and uh, here is information in that house uh, three years work and uh, and created the underground archive uh, dr emmanuel ringelblum uh, uh, killed by the G G germans 1944 his uh, height was denounced there's the very painful matter but you know we've got the 7000 righteous uh, uh, nominated by Yad Vashem, but there were uh, people that are just uh, pigs. We say pigs the matters, they, uh, for the money, they denounced uh, other people. We have to point that was not everything was holy. You know, Second World War, there was not only um, saving uh, someone's life, but uh, helping hand they could give you even a uh, German. There's such unexpected help, you say, like uh, Oskar Schindler saving 1,100 Jews. That's why there's such a uh, matter, uh, I always repeat in many of my, my programs, they are not nations and people from the different nations, but they are people kind and not kind. We say be kind or not kind. Those are just only two categories. And I think is a such uh, my point of view that uh, variety of impressions around uh, always uh, uh, interesting for me, as, as you see, that I'm giving uh, the different uh, political maps at the time. <laughs> hello, 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 thank you, thank you. Oh, that's just very, very nice greetings from Warsaw. That's just, as you see, the people enjoy uh, filmmakers. So in Krakow, I never had the such situation that someone waving to my camera. That's just why interesting, you know, the uh, yeah, okay, travels broaden mind, yes? <laughs> uh, travels, uh, traveling broaden mind. That's just, that's always, matters that is not only one uh, place uh, swimming. That is the crossing with the uh, Bielańska street. Uh, but that was the bank uh, with emission bank, but we captured that uh, 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 in other time. And here is the uh, now museum of Polish disowned uh, soldiers uh, of the Polish heroes they created by the current party, but was the former Lenin Museum. That was just uh, such interesting place uh, in the middle of the like island there was the former palace uh, that was the Lenin museum there are very impressive uh, platans uh, trees uh, that in one moment we see but the tram line is getting on the both sides that's a just interesting thing oh look at this there's a wee basilica view on the on Warsaw or oh, just a nice, nice part okay oh, just, oh we got a little bit there's the special then the, the, uh, that road is getting to this the road uh, WZ Schut Zachut uh, east west. Uh, if we uh, go in that direction, we've got the Berlin, and uh, the tram is going now direction Moscow. We say that. that's why Warsaw we say between Berlin and Moscow. That's just this very special uh, pol uh, geopolitical position. Okay, I want to show you the platan trees because the platan trees are very special. Oh, just to get, let, uh, let's get the, that corner. No, I know that's just the live stream is getting a little uh, too long. That's why just I try to be uh, uh, quick the just and we uh, we getting with the shortcut today. Look at this, the platans only. 
Look at these very special platens. There's such empty inside, but uh, uh, it's like a miracle that there's uh, still uh, is the, uh, a lot of juices. That's why there's such platens at the entrance to the car museum. We see the last uh, shops from the communist era, Pevex. <laughs> that is uh, very interesting that Pevex survived. Oh, just, I think they changed the names because long time was the Pevex shop. And now Pevex shop does it just uh, change. Okay, just we're getting to the path. Okay, I'm just waiting here on the island. And uh, again, the view on the on that path. And we are passing the place from the arsenal. That was the famous action uh, by Arsenal, as I promised. <laughs> yes, that was just the, the former Pevex, but I see the, they uh, vanished as such old sentimental <laughs> uh, name. But uh, we see the huge project of the um, rebuild the former Simpson uh, shopping mall. That was the most luxurious shopping mall in that corner before war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's just I change. you see that they changed name and there's the no logo of Pevex, but long time I saw the logo of Pevex. And have a look, Arsenal. Uh, here was the, the group of the uh, Warsaw, Warsaw uh, uh, boys uh, and girls. Uh, they organized action to taking uh, their own friend from the Gestapo hands, uh, the Rudy. Uh, Rudy was uh, captured by Gestapo, was tortured three days. They uh, destroyed his, uh, his organs or so, everything, but they, uh, they uh, got him alive. And after one month he died, but there just was this famous action to recapture, to uh, uh, got, got, got back the Rudy. Uh, yes, that is the interesting uh, look at this event was in Kerlik, of course, because at the time of Simpson, uh, there was the Simon passage on the beginning of 20th century. That was a just very special uh, form. Mm -hmm. And uh, that arsenal in the, that, that, that time, but we see much better. Oh, oh that's just a such a view on the church that was staying on the place, but the Brigitki, Brigitka church on the part and just we getting to the interesting there's the uh, remembering of the first uh, uprising uh, in Warsaw there was a lot of uprisings um, that's just the such uh, time of the 19th century mm -hmm. ah yes uh, that was the taking of the arsenal uh, that's uh, such in that part and uh, here uh, insurrection of the uh, such part arsenal and insurrection, a series of uh, itching uh, and insurrection as a part. Mm -hmm. That was just what this insurrection of the 19, uh, 30, uh, 1830, that was the first first part. But I think I show you the most interesting, because that street that I'm staying here was the former Nalewki street. Uh, the name of Nalewki was the most famous. There was the, look at this, how many shops were just in that street. And now there are no traces of the such street, there's nothing, nothing left. Uh, Mm, that is the Warsaw before uh, Second World War, again, of the old photographies, Nalewki. Nalewka, it's means like liquor, or that's just the name of the, uh, such the two versions. There was here the little um, small river, so-called Nalewki, or just from the, oh, and here there's much more uh, tragic uh, period, because what happened, uh, that just the passage of Simpson uh, before war, 1939, uh, the destroyed Simpson shopping mall in 1939, just at the beginning of war, uh, just Warsaw had the uh, just uh, uprising, uh, the first first defending and destroying. There's our bridge that we saw uh, um, on, on that part. You see the bridge for Jews between two ghettos. And again, the synagogue, <coughs> the blown up great synagogue of Warsaw to Matsky 7. And uh, the, such painting does adjust the speaks volumes. Uh, uh, that is the uh, painting by the Bronisław Linke, El Mole Rachmim. Um, that is mean as a just like a um, such uh, destroyed uh, Warsaw. That's a just that is why you look at this. That is just very special. Uh, that is the just also Nalewki and uh, corner of Długa Street. In one moment we walk in Długa Street. 
Oh, and that, that is the typical. We see the typical uh, Jewish surname of the owner, Simon Passage. You could read more about the Simon Passage on the Wikipedia also. Uh, Simon, uh, Simon Passage, uh, si Simon, Simon's uh, Passage, 1935. You see the family Pfefferberg. And everything was here, but it's uh, hard to believe. <laughs> no, no traces, yes, that's just uh, completely new blocks uh, and <laughs> You could only imagine that this is the former. And that now that uh, street there was the... Yes, that's just the passage, the passage Simon. You should uh, just uh, answer. Uh, the Warsaw uh, was destroyed, uh, as I said, in 86%. And... Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> Uh, but the beginning of war, 15% in uh, September 1939, because of the war, so was the long de defending of uh, one month. That's why September 1939, 15% Warsaw destroyed. 1943, 20% uh, after Jewish uprising. And then 1944, uh, 25%. They all together, there was the just not, not yet the full destroying. After Warsaw uprising 1944, there were, uh, 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 we say, partisans, uh, the Varsovians, they uh, find a hide in the cellars. And uh, Germans with the special fire uh, and gas, they just they started uh, cleaning Warsaw. And uh, the, after Warsaw uprising, after 40, 1944, there was the next uh, destroying. That's why altogether 86% uh, Warsaw destroyed. 86. Now I know that this even counted the um, amount of money just wished from Germany for destroying uh, Warsaw. That's just a such a, a matter that uh, was like an obsession. They demolishing the old, we say, Paris of the North. Uh, Warsaw was called before war um, uh, Paris of the North. Uh, in one moment we see palace that was the uh, place of the uh, uh, SS uh, 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 and the commandant and uh, mm, uh, the house under four winds and during the wo Second World War that, that uh, palace wasn't uh, destroyed. That's why again we see the black figures uh, the showing like an uh, old noble beauty of Warsaw. Just around the corner is the Warsaw Uprising Monument, that's why, don't worry. Yes, and uh, then you see the figures of the four winds. And uh, now is the health ministry, NHS, National Health Service. Uh, but the palace occupied in that time with the German authorities. And uh, just we are uh, around the corner. We get not just, just uh, only 100 steps and we're just uh, getting Krasinski Square. Everywhere uh, just, just commemorating such uh, action of the arsenal that here they are preceding the uh, uh, German lorry uh, because there was the one, one side behind me was the Paviak about one kilometer away and in Paviak there was the main prison <coughs> for Polish uh, and uh, so the Jewish uh, um, people and uh, the, the interrogation was in the other corner of Warsaw in German district in the south in Aleja Stucha in the Schucha uh, street and uh, that's why uh, such uh, uh, interesting, uh, uh, such long distance for the taking every single day the prisoners to the interrogation. And uh, the lorry was on the way back after interrogation of the boy Rudy and uh, the, his friends, they got back uh, him from the German hands. Yes, and have a look, that's just, uh, we're getting very interesting. Uh, 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 I show you also inlet to the channel, sewers, that was the biggest action of the saving uh, uh, the, the, uh, up, uh, during the uprising, thousands of uh, lives uh, because of the such tricky uh, inlet for the sewer, to the uh, sewers. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, that in that time was uh, the much, uh, the, the, then there was the much other architecture, there were not such a block of flats. Mm, the density of the houses was bigger and maybe such a inlet or the way in to the sewer uh, was uh, just the bed. We are in the district Muranov, uh, that uh, district is much higher than other places because we're walking over ruins and bones of the uh, people. 
because uh, after the Warsaw's in ashes turned into ashes and ruins, and the such debris, they were used as the foundation. That's why that Muranov is the, like a spiritual matter as you walking over uh, ruins because not all bones were cleaned. That's why it's a very special feeling here in Muranov. You walking over uh, ruins and you know mixing also bones of uh, Varsovians. That is the just Miodova Honey Street. But look at this. Here is the such uh, inlet to the sewer. Look at this. There's the church of the Garnison Church for military service, very often the holy services, uh, then uh, Catholic. And here is the inlet to the sewer. But look at this. That is going the line there. Yes, there. That is the monument of Warsaw Uprising becoming closer. That is the, our finishing of our tour. That is the national court, um, the highest court of Supreme, Supreme, Supreme. And have a look. The line is getting here. And here I could translate you that just exactly what is written in Polish. In that channel, uh, after uh, uh, heroic uh, defending uh, of the old town, uh, does it just uh, they, they came in, uh, to the old town uh, and to Jolibor, Jolibor, uh, 5,300 uh, uh, uprising uh, people uh, from the group uh, North 1944. 2nd September 1974 was the foundation of the such part and have a look here you've got the full um, scheduling scheduling of the uh, here uh, yes that was the, the main uh, main sewer uh, inlet uh, 13 August 1944 uh, they, they came the bold descent the group of partisans uh, inside that's the symbol of Poland fighting PW everywhere there's a just form that's why it's the hard to believe but uh, uh, such secret place because if you're going on the line you're getting, getting that uh, sewer that people completely don't know where was. The first time I couldn't completely realize where was the inlet uh, to, the, to the sewers on that, that part. Yes, we're coming to the last point of our sightseeing. Uh, I want to be short, uh, don't worry. Um, that is also commemorating former theater plays that uh, Friedrich Chopin played also piano here. Does adjust the also the but there is no no traces. Uh, Krasinski Palace on the on the left, and uh, just we getting uh, the most important monument of the Warsaw Uprising. Uh, first uh, August 1944 started. You see the uh, partisans getting inside to the sewers. They they've got the German helmets. Uh, because, you know, they uh, didn't have money to buy their own weapon. Every third of uh, even rare that the just partisan could got their own uh, any weapon or anything to fight. And the fighting with naked hands just started uh, uprising. We're speaking about the biggest uprising, 200 Varsovians. And, uh, of course, after 36 days, 63 days uh, defeat. But the, the Russian army, the Stalin, they said they, they shouldn't move uh, from the other river side. And oh, that is the very special view. Look at this, that is just, it speaks volumes. Uh, here all, there was the speech of Donald Trump, the last visit in Warsaw. There's the Warsaw Uprising Monument. Very special. Mm, the showing, I think, without words, even you could uh, suppose what's going on. Those actions was always dangerous. But they've got the German helmets because uh, just simple or just completely non-helmets because uh, they started almost unequal fight fighting without chance of any support. That's just a such such matter of the part. Okay, I'm sorry that it just was the, again uh, too late, uh, too too long uh, because I know the intensity is so high that it's hard to stay in the one. Mm, uh, uh, one shot that uh, get the whole uh, around. That's why tomorrow uh, would be the next part of the old town uh, in Warsaw. Don't worry, just this nice uh, any um, event organized in Warsaw uh, because of the such such form. That's why just uh, I'm staying uh, tomorrow with you. Uh, and uh, please, uh, the, you, tomorrow uh, I think we we manage before uh, uh, just around the, the similar time about the. 5 p.m. I do the shorter uh, uh, live, uh, 
but uh, you could expect me about the 5 p.m. Okay, that's why tomorrow will be shorter, 15 minutes. I think I think is enough from the path. Big thanks for support my channel. Every like is very important, and uh, like a co cup of coffee, the support with the uh, just uh, my channel is also important. Please share information about the, my my uh, live streams. Uh, we say freestyle live streams, and um, and any questions always um, expected. That's why just uh, for <laughs> Tom Guy Krakow greeting from Warsaw, of course. And see you tomorrow. Big thanks and tomorrow tomorrow. So uh, similar time about the 5 p.m. Uh, a little earlier 5 p.m. tomorrow uh, Warsaw uh, Poland time. Big thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Do widzenia. All the best. Thank you for any questions.